this episode. Fairly early in the episode, I was thinking, oh, are they going to do, like, you know, they've already, there's been some nods to John Carpenter, so are they doing Assault on Precinct 13, but with Deadites? That would be very cool. Then, no, turns out they're doing The Thing with the Ball, which is even better. Like, holy crap, like, throughout the episode, it's this thing of, you know, it's set up very early on through through Margie that, you know, Ball can wear people's skin. And for the rest of the episode, we're not completely sure who it is that's... that is secretly ball wearing someone else's skin and they do a really great job like yeah you know is it Pablo he's got that weird stuff on his chest you know Thomas was was behaving very aggressively turns out he was being influenced by ball he just wasn't directly you know it wasn't actually ball turns out it's the other lady cop uh, Polly, if I'm going off the IMDb cast list and comparing faces, it looks like the, the, yeah, um, the, the, yeah, um, I think that is about, right, uh, some, some great, you know, sexual tension between Polly and, um, Ruby, which does end up with them, you know, kissing, so that, you know, although it turns out to be, yeah, yeah, right, so in reality, Ball wanted to kiss Ruby, and it's, yeah, so it's a bit rapey, that's, yeah, but it really was just a matter of fact, that matter of time before they would have Lucy Lawless outright kiss of an actress, another actress, Anyway, um, let's see. Right, I appreciate that Chet actually starts to, to lose faith in, in Ash, which one can understand. Pretty funny when Ash can't remember Linda's mom's car. And, you know, he stole it and then crashed it. We've all made mistakes when we're drunk. At least he wasn't texting. And the... Let's see. Yeah, some, some great effects. I, I loved when Margie without skin at the end is, is coming at them. And it's just, you know, we see like exposed muscle and, you know, just, yeah, really, really nicely done there. And in general, you know, each time Ball pulls off someone's face and they, they do the little thing where like there's extra, the, there's loose skin, I guess, is the, or it, yeah. The skin is loose on the the you know on the on the cheek and neck and such, you know, very nicely done and and really you know it's not a super difficult effect to to do anyway. You just gotta yeah make some you know yeah and and add it on top. So let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, I will say I did really think that Polly was going to lock Ruby in the evidence locker, but I guess that wasn't what Ball wanted. And let's see the... Right, the, the thing with the phone call was quite cool, you know, that he, you know, seemingly gets it, but the phone doesn't work, and then he picks up the phone when it calls, and, you know, the... Originally, it said all calls are monitored, but someone like like the one of the L's has been worn down, so it just says Al calls are monitored. So if you're calling Al Bundy, it's they're gonna be listening to the call. And the yeah, you know, Ball talking to to Ash. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Right, I appreciate the tension and subversion. You know yeah, Ash is calling, hey, I got, I need my phone call, you know, and, and Linda's like, is that, is that Ash? And, and, you know, the sheriff is like, this fucking guy, okay, Margie, can you go deal with him? Oh, you bet I'll deal with him, you know, and we're like, oh, this is gonna go bad, and then she just lets him out, you know, but 
turns out it was so that Ball could call. And let's see, right. Uh, it was pretty funny when when Ash is going over all the different places he's had a rash. And yeah, I really really like Joel Tobik as Ball. He, you know, re really effective chilling performance. And let's see. Yeah, so IMDb Trivia uh, points out when Margie takes Ash to the paid phone for his one phone call, she, Ball in her form, technically, is obviously whistling the show's theme song. And... Let's see. Yeah. Um, I think that might be... Everybody. Oh, right. Uh, really great design decision with the, the long, sharp nail on ball and let's see. right also when when uh, Ruby shoots the sheriff in the leg that also has a stinging weight is she ball because that that was a, a fairly you know like that's not nothing you know um, yeah, I like, you know, Lacey saying, you know, we, we were saved by this brave man. And, and, and Ash is like, thank you. And she's like, no, I mean, Pablo. Let's see. Yeah, and also, you know, um, Chet calling Pablo Mexican. And Ash like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not, you know, the Mexican. He's Pablo. Pablo the Mexican, and then Pablo, you know, makes a, a reference to, to Chet about, you know, yeah, being a dumb white guy, and I was like, whoa, Pablo, that's kind of racist. Apology. Which, he would, yeah, I forget if we've seen that before, but Ash is definitely someone who would think that, you know, racism against white people, that's the real, you know, racism.